Welcome to FATS, FRIT's Amazing Tutorials in Mathematics, Research, and Educational Technology. I am Fritz Sanfloren. In today's video, we will talk about performing regression analysis using Microsoft Excel. And today's learning objectives are the following. To define and determine the situation when using linear regression and how to perform linear regression using Microsoft Excel. So what is linear regression? Linear regression is the following step to correlation. It is utilized to predict the estimation of a variable dependent on the estimation of at least two factors. Note that the variable mentioned in this definition refers to the dependent variable, and the two factors here refer to the independent variables. Thus, this definition emphasized that we use linear regression if there are two or more independent variables. In relation to answering the research questions of a certain study, the general idea of regression is to analyze two things. First, does a set of predictor factors work in predicting a dependent variable? And second, which factors specifically are critical indicators of the dependent variable? So now let's perform the regression analysis using Microsoft Excel. In this demonstration, we will determine the factors that significantly affect the price of the car. Note that the situation here is not part of a cited study. Only the data is adapted for this demonstration. And take note that in this demonstration, we have nine independent variables, namely type of a car, engine size, horsepower, wheelbase, width, length, curb weight, fuel capacity, and MPG or miles per gallon. And we have one dependent variable, which is a price of a car. And the goal of this analysis is to answer the question, which among the factors are predictors of a price of a car? So let's do this. So the data that I'll be using for this demonstration can be downloaded using this link. So I'll be using the Excel file in my desktop computer. And in this Excel file, we have the variables, namely price in column E, which is our dependent variable. And we have our data for the independent variables from column F to column N. So to run the regression analysis using Microsoft Excel, all we have to do is to go to the data tab, click in this area, data tab, and go to data analysis. But before I continue, just in case you don't have the data analysis tool pack within your data tab, all you have to do is to go to file here, then click on options. Then in the Excel options dialog box, go to add-ins, click that and go to manage and click go. So in the add-ins dialog box, well, I have my analysis to check here. Just in case you don't have it in your data tab, normally it's unchecked. So all you have to do is to check that box and click OK. Then, then you have now the data analysis in your data analysis or data tab. So to continue, to analyze which among these factors significantly affect the price of the car, Using linear regression, all we have to do is to click on data analysis. Then in the data analysis dialog box, look for regression there and click OK. So by default, this is how it looked like. But I run this analysis a while ago. That's why it has some information here. So there are some points that I need to discuss. First is the input. Under input, we have input Y range and input X range. So under input Y range, we have to locate the data for the dependent variable. While for the input X range, we have to put the data for the independent variables. To do that, let's first highlight the data for the dependent variable. So to do that, just click on this arrow up, then click on the cell where you can find your data for the dependent variable. So I will click on cell E1 and I will press Control Shift arrow down in my keyboard there. 
and it highlighted all the data all the way down to row 153. Then click this arrow down. Now, let's highlight the data for the independent variable from F1 to N1. And let's press sh Control Shift arrow down to highlight our data for the independent variable all the way down to row 153. Then in this dialog box, please make sure to check labels. That is to indicate that the first row of our highlighted data is actually the labels of those data. Second, please click confidence level just in case you want to change it to 99 or 90. But in this example, let's use 95% confidence level. And lastly, in this dialog box, I will discuss output options. So output options refer to the location where you want to put the generated result of the regression analysis. So we have three options. First is output range. That is, if you want the generated result of this regression analysis process to be within the worksheet where the data is actually located. Or if you want the generated result to be located to a new worksheet, then you might want to click a new worksheet or if you want the generated result to be on a new Excel file, then you might want to check new workbook. So in this example, I'll choose output range and I want to generate the result in this worksheet. And let me choose or click this field or arrow up and let me choose this cell P1 where I want to put the generated result. And after that, Click OK, then there you go. So this is the result of the regression analysis. So after that, you might you might want to label these tables. So we can label this as table one and name this normally as model summary. We can have this as table two. We can label this as ANOVA table and the third table, let's name that as table three. And you can name that as a table of coefficients. Okay, so let's just put it here to have a space between tables. Similarly, let's give a space between table two and three. Sorry. There. So to interpret these results, let's discuss that on the second video. Thank you for watching.